Well lads, Ben here, back with another video for you. Uh, haven't posted in a while and hadn't really much to post so I decided I'd finish doing the tractor tours. So in today's video we'll be doing the 390 as you can see and the New Holland T6. So I'll show you a few clips of the outside of it, uh, then we'll get into the detail. Uh, I'll try and put a clip at the end of this just of uh, like driving it. We'll see anyway how she goes. No. Right, so as you can see we have the McHale bale splitter on it because we're using it at the moment fathering for cattle and stuff. I'll show you that as well. So when you're in the cab you have your steering, your shuttle, forward, neutral and reverse. Not all 390s have this because this one has gears here, one, two, three, four. And you have a high, medium and low that shows down there. Some of them have gears here but that's just the way ours is. So you have your pull stop in and out and your key here. Then you have your indicator and your horn and that's flash your lights and your hand throttle and then there's your dash in there then down here you have the lights on fully the like dip and lift your lights and your four indicators then you have your heater that's the first mode second mode that controls the heater then you have your brake and your throttle there then over here you have your two hydraulic spools up and down then you have your lift here, and that's the main lift handle you use. That's your draft lift, and if you're transporting, you can lift it up there. Or if you're at a bale of silage and you can't get the net off, you can do that and it'll lift it up even more. Then when you have that up the full way there, you can lift this handle up and it drops the lift. You have your radio up there. Up there you have lights for your, uh, your settings for your lights your uh, window wiper and a beacon if you have one but we don't have one for it you have your handbrake that turns your PTO on turns it off and you have your modes for your PTO right so now we'll do the outside of it open the door and open it and then to open from the outside push that button and you open it it's a 12 speed, 12 forward gears and 12 backwards gears. Then up here, you open that and you can put your diesel in there. Then this handle here is a like a lift on the outside. You lift that up and down. You have your spools in there. Then you have your four spools. Your PTO and your hitch is there. You can see the rest there. So I'll show you now how the bale splitter works. So we'll start it up. The way the bale splitter works now, so I'll put it around middle height. Whatever your spool is on, so we lift it up. And as you can see, it's lifting up. I give it a bit of revs and it'll go up quicker. Then that's it up and you can control with your lift handle. Then to drop it, you just put the same spool down, rev it up. And that's your bale splitter. Right, that's the 390 done. We'll go on to the New Holland now and it'll take a bit longer. It's a lot more complicated than this anyway. Right, so now we have the new Holland T6160, 160 horsepower, be jealous, she's a mighty yoke lads. Right, we'll do the same as what we do with the rest of them and then we'll get into it.
Right, now just before we get into this one, I'm going to be honest with you, there's buttons along here and there's a good few. Now I know most of them, but there's a few I don't know and yeah, I'll not be able to tell you sure if I don't know them. Right, anyway, we get into it. So, when you get in you have your steering, indicator and lights, your shuttle and your window wiper. Then there's your dash. Then up here, these buttons are all to do with controlling the stuff on the dash. You have a seat there. I have to say, this is a very good seat, the way it folds like that, because you have your room there getting in and out. Where on the John Deere's, they fold out, so you're losing room. Then you have your heater system, all there. Now, when you come over here, I'll turn on the ignition for this. So, as you can see, It'll start on 9, and you have 9, 10, 11, 12, you have to clutch it forward 13, 14, 15, 16. And you can use this button up and down, or up and down here. Then to get it into the lower box, you have to clutch it, and pull this handle back, and as you can see, it's then in the lower two. Then to go back up, push it forward. Then you have your hand throttle here, Three spool valves. This is a great job for running the baler. Your PTO and all your PTO settings. And then you have your lift. And then you lift up this arm and there's all the settings for your lift. If you want to lift the hitch, you have to put that up, lift it fully. And then once you have it up and your trailer on, put it back a bit and it drops your lift so your lift isn't always under pressure being lifted. Then over here, the ones that I do know, you have your four wheel drive and you have your diff. Then up here you have lights, like you can select which lights go on and off and you have your radio. So to open this door, same as the 390 underneath. So as you can see, open that, your diesel goes in there, open that, add blue goes in there. You have a toolbox there and when you come round the back, as you can see you have your lifts your top link, your spool valves, your two hitch pipes, your PTO and your hitch. And you can see there, they're the clips, whatever you want to call them, that hold your lift, hold your hitch from go just dropping on you. Two beacons, as you can see the lights, you have a window wiper on the rear window, all your buttons, that's on each side. That's really it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe and comment. And yeah, hopefully try and get a few videos out soon again. I'll throw up a few videos of this driving too, like I done with the 390. That's it. Take her handy and good luck. It's only occurred to me now.